to do a breastfeeding update um, because we were kind of weaning and um, I haven't really updated on what's been going on with that. So I thought that would this would be a good time to do that. Um, on the 11th, Connor will be 19 months. We started weaning around 18 months, a couple days shy of 18 months in order to conceive. And um, we had definitely been tapering down before then, but um, right around 18 months is when we kind of kicked it into gear, um, trying to really get him weaned. But we kind of took a, still a self-weaning approach somewhat. You know, if he asked to nurse, I would try to distract him or I would try to feed him something, you know, if he was hungry or thirsty. Um, but if he was persistently asking, like asked several times in a day, I would nurse him. You know, but if it was if it was a nursing we could easily shrug off, I just let um, him do whatever I could get him to do. But if he really wanted it and really needed it, I nursed him. So it started out that I, well, we were down to one time a day. And then after that, um, we went to one breast once a day. And then um, after that, he went to about um, one breast every three days. And after that, it went to, um, he would want both breasts, but only about every six days. And that's kind of where we're still at. However, the last two times he has asked me, which were like three days apart, actually, it was kind of weird, but it was, um, I think it was like this Monday and Wednesday, so the 4th and the 6th of April. He asked nurse, he came up on my lap, he signed milk. Um, I offered it to him and he put his face there, pretended to latch on and started giggling. Um, he didn't take any milk. He didn't actually nurse. Um, and he thought it was funny. And it's just, um, I'm pretty sure he's officially weaned now because, you know, he's not taking milk from me. Um, although he still asks for it, he doesn't really want it. Um, and it's kind of like he's coming up to me and he's, um, I feel like he's kind of showing me he's done. It's a really strange thing that he's doing, um, but you know, he'll come up, ask the nurse, and pretend to latch on and giggle. And um, you know, he's only done that twice, but it was the last two times that he asked to nurse. Yeah, I don't know, it's kind of strange. Um, but the whole weaning process took a couple months, and I, I think we're done because he's not, um, He's not latching on effectively where he would be able to get any milk out. He's not trying to get my milk to let down. He's pretty much to the point where he thinks it's funny now. So um, that is that. Um, one thing that really surprised me with the weaning was um, kind of unexpected and kind of upset me. Um, about... Three weeks ago, when when he was pretty much done, except for once a week asking to nurse, um, he started screaming all day, like like he was in pain, and I was like, "What is going on?" And um, it took a while to figure it out. Um, last week on Tuesday, he was in the car in his car seat, and he threw up everywhere. And, um, Thursday and, and the rest of Tuesday, he was okay. Like we thought he had the flu. Like it was like a lot of puke and, um, it was not like spit up or anything. It was like sour stomach contents. It was gross. And, um, but then he like had his milk and he was okay. Later that night we waited a couple hours to feed him again. He kept everything down and Wednesday he was fine. And Thursday, um, he was playing after lunch in our, you know, play area, and he bent over um, one of his toy trucks, and he burped, and he threw up, and um, then about a couple more times that day, he would burp, and it would sound like, what? And this is really gross. I'm sorry. Um, and that was that, and um, he then the next couple nights started not sleeping well, he would, I would hear him tossing and turning all night. And we have a video monitor 
So, you know, I could see him tossing and turning all night. He woke up every day that week and um, the first part of this week at 5 in the morning. Normally he gets up about 7.45. Um, and yeah, we, we just thought something was wrong. We took him to the pediatrician to get his ears looked at um, because we thought, you know, he was acting like he was in pain and um, he didn't have the flu because it, it wouldn't come and go like that. And um, his ears were fine and the pediatrician didn't say anything. And um, then this, I'm looking at the calendar over here so I can tell you the days. Um, then I worked all weekend, so I couldn't really keep close tabs on what happened on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Monday, he seemed okay. Tuesday, um, he kept burping, and it was like he threw up, but he got this look on his face, and he clenched his jaw, and then he swallowed. So I'm pretty sure he threw up and he was swallowing it. And um, he did that like four or five times that day. And I was like, okay, that's enough. I'm calling the doctor. <laughs> so I called and I was like, uh, explained everything I just told you. And I said, his voice is hoarse. He's not sleeping. He's throwing up. He's throwing up and he's swallowing. He's throwing up and he's spitting it out. Um, I think he probably has reflux. And, um, you know, the doctor said, yeah, I agree. So he's on Zantac. Um, he takes two milligrams twice a day. And like a light switch, he's a different boy. He's happy. He's not throwing up. He's sleeping 12 hours at night. He's napping during the day. So he definitely has reflux. <laughs> to make a long story short, he, he has that. And I was like, what changed in the past three weeks that would make him have reflux? And um, I did some research and everything, and it turns out breast milk neutralizes stomach acid. And he's not getting breast milk anymore. And um, as the breast milk tapered down, the reflux came on. And once he weaned, um, it got really bad. And um, the breast milk was not neutralizing the stomach acid anymore because it wasn't there. So he he has reflux now. And um, he has to take medication for it. And the breast milk, you know, helped him with that. So I feel guilty about that. It's nothing I could have foreseen happening. Um, I mean, the reason we weaned is so we could get pregnant. We tried seven months to get pregnant before we weaned. I had a miscarriage probably due to the breastfeeding because the lining of my uterus wasn't sustaining a pregnancy and my progesterone mm -hmm. wasn't good enough. Sorry, my husband <laughs> just texted me. Um... So, and I talked to a lactation consultant who agreed with me. So I'm not just like saying this. Um, so we decided to wean to conceive so my son can have a sibling um, that is around two years in age. And we got pregnant like the month that we weaned. So um, I don't regret weaning him because in the long run, I think um, having a sibling is good. And if he was going to get reflux when I weaned him, like... Um, I don't know. It would happen. He's not going to have breast milk forever. But it just made me sad um, that I know that a choice that we made to wean him is causing him to have reflux now. But at the same time, I feel fortunate that um, he was able to have breast milk for so long that he didn't have to be medicated for that period of time. So... I can see it both ways. Um, it just made me sad and it kind of surprised me. So, um, you know, that there was a negative effect that was so, um, I just didn't expect weaning him to like medically, uh, give him a medical condition. I don't know. It just seems strange, but it happened. So, um, yeah, it's something I didn't know could happen. So that's why I'm sharing it. But um, I'm pretty sure we're weaned and I'm okay with it and he thinks it's funny so he's okay with it. Um, we're pregnant he has a sibling on the way now so all in all um, you know it was it was good. I love breastfeeding. My son loved it and um, yeah so that's where we're at with that but my son is going to bed now so I'm going to go say goodnight to him. Um, so thanks for watching. And if you guys have any questions, I am putting myself out there as um, just a person you can come to for advice or questions or whatever it may be. 
about breastfeeding because I've been through it all for a long time. So thanks for watching, girls. Bye.